Though critics and fans knew San Diego Aftermath should be able to hold their own in the NXL Pro Division after winning the overall series title in semi-pro last year, no one knew how long it would take for them to be competitive enough to get near the top. After the franchise nearly died in the offseason, the core of the team stepped up to create a new era. Their performance at the first event in Vegas was nothing short of spectacular, and they didn't make us wait long to see them reach their potential and take a top three finish. They won every game in the prelims, beating the Ironmen, the Outlaws, taking down Heat in overtime, and then they fought a grudge match against the boys from New York Extreme. They took down Revo in the quarterfinals, but then one mistake in the rematch against Heat in a 2-1 game cost them the chance to move on. With how composed this young team was at the first event, their future is bright indeed. Their strength came from the consistency in their starting five. On the D side, Frank Antetomaso led the charge, constantly taking ground and shooting bodies. Tom Guest was right behind him, providing support and cross-field communication and finishing points through the middle and up the D side. Rob Velez, a veteran who's known for offense, also provided clutch finishes from the middle. Even though the snake side was extremely tricky, that's where most of the production came for Aftermath. Garrett Baldwin delivered a masterful performance, using his smart tight play to stay alive and push forward when possible. And David Barga's ability to stay alive and shoot bodies proved crucial. If they play as well as they did in Vegas, who knows? They could win the event in Texas and shock the paintball world.